Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're going to dive right back into Elite Zoo South. As we do so, folks, I just want to say really quickly, of course, that I apologize for the slight delay in this episode. Uh, again, just as a reminder, if anything ever seems strange in terms of going off schedule, it's a great idea to uh, check out my Twitter. Uh, whether you follow me or not, the link to my Twitter is always in the description down below for all my videos. Uh, I will always tweet out if there is a change to my schedule for any reason. Uh, the reason why the last episode was skipped, because honestly, after that week of intense DLC coverage while maintaining the uh, franchise uh, schedule, uh, I was exhausted. I was just absolutely exhausted, and I don't think I realized how tired I was until I sat down to record what would have been that previous episode, and I was just like, wow, my head is like not in the right space right now. And we all know what happens when you try to do something uh, and you're just way too tired for it. The end result is just not that good, and it comes across, right? And I never want to put out a bad show. I always, that's one of my like things I always try to like maintain is like, if, if, if things are not going to go well, if it's not going to be fun for everyone, uh, then it's better that it doesn't exist. You know what I mean? Hopefully you all agree. And again, I just want to say I appreciate all of the uh, positive vibes I get whenever I you know, say, hey guys, there's going to be a delay. Um, it's always a difficult decision to make because I don't like letting people down. It's uh, you know to a fault sometimes. Um, so I, it is, I, I got to say, it's really nice to see so many of you just kind of, you know, reach out and, and send those positive vibes and, you know, all the messages of like, hey, take care of yourself, you know, all that kind of stuff. It, it really does uh, bring my mind to ease because every time I have to delay an episode, whether it's Planet Zoo or anything else, I, I, just, I don't like doing it. I always feel bad. Uh, so I just wanted to say I do appreciate uh, all your patience and that y'all understand that sometimes here and there, you know, after over 150 episodes of uh, of Planet Zoo, sometimes here and there, 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 there are going to be those days where we'll have to be like, okay, this is one skip day, one skip day. Uh, uh, so, uh, again, thank you very much. Now, I do also appreciate that it's been happening a bit more uh, as the year is coming to its close. But that's just because, you know, it's that time of the year when everything is releasing. And there's a lot more to talk about, you know, case in point, that new DLC. Uh, which I'm super happy with our uh, mini series that we did, the little uh, sort of sandbox mode mini series. It seems many of you enjoyed that method of showcasing the DLC animals as well. I don't want to belabor the point because I have brought it up before a couple times. I think that is what we're going to keep doing moving forward is, uh, yeah, showcasing any more DLC animals using either the same sandbox uh, zoo or a new one to fit the aesthetic of, uh, you know, whatever region the uh, the future DLC includes. But uh, I think um, I think that was a really fun way to showcase it. Yes, it, it, it definitely uh, took more, uh, like it, it definitely like took more time to execute and whatnot. But I think it was well worth it. You know what I mean? Like it, it, good good things, uh, good things take time. Good things take effort, etc. So I take you know use whatever uh, quote you think fits the bill. But uh, but I think it was well worth the extra kind of time and effort that we um, that we spent. Uh, in getting that sandbox zoo going and establishing, you know, not just like creating some good stuff. Like I'm really pleased with a lot of those. Uh, well, I'm, I'm really pleased with all of the resulting uh, uh, enclosures in that sandbox zoo. But beyond that as well, it was a great learning opportunity for me because now as we go in to actually include those animals, either at Elite Zoo South or Elite Zoo North, uh, we know what the limitations are. We know uh, where we have to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves, as the case might be, you know, like, uh, for example, the amount of space that giant otters need is well beyond what I would have imagined, what, what, what I would have ever imagined. Uh, so that was very good for me to see and very good for me to, like, I guess, prepare for. Uh, but anyways, that's all neither here nor there. I just wanted to say thank you to all of you for understanding, for your patience. And I just want to remind you all as well that, uh, again, if you are... Uh, confused if you ever see a, a, a missing uh, session you're wondering what happened uh, the best way to find out is to uh, check out my Twitter and again feel free to follow me uh, feel free not to follow me but only check in when there's a hiccup in the schedule either is cool but that is a great way to get answers to your questions what a reveal that was by the way I was not expecting such a huge crowd I forgot that we had such massive crowds but like just that like arrival over here and then the slow pan up to like show that massive crowd, that was really quite special. And it's so just colorful and vibrant with their updated water and stuff as well. I've been told that apparently the water has, as a confirmation, been updated and upgraded even. So that's all pretty cool. 
Uh, God, this this feels fantastic. This feels fantastic. Uh, but anyway, folks, I am back on schedule, on track, re-energized and rearing to go. We are planning on some beauty passes, and today's time lapse is more or less going to kick off right off the bat. Uh, today's time lapse. Did I say that properly? I feel like I feel like I like mix those words together. But we're basically diving into the time lapse right off the bat. Just one thing I want to touch on uh, before I do, and then after the time lapse, we're going to be doing a fair bit of. Uh, well, there's there's a, there's a lot of work to be done, uh, and I'm really excited for it. But first, I want to touch on this current community challenge, which I don't know. Ah, uh, don't know how much we'll be able to contribute. Really, keep it snappy. Release sixty thousand silver rated semi aquatic semi or semi aquatic animals. Uh, oh, what great big teeth you have. Who can resist the wonderful smile of charmers like the saltwater crocodile or Gario? Help bring more smiles and joy to the world this week by releasing silver-rated semi-aquatic animals. Um, so is it just the Gario and the saltwater crocodile? Because, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If we look at our animal storage, we've got at least one gold-rated. Is the No, the Komodo dragon isn't uh, aquatic. We've got one, two, three Gario. we got options. We, we can get involved for sure. Uh, and in terms of our crocs that we have in here right now, uh, if I could just click on the gate here. In terms of the crocs we have right now, a lot of them are too young. Yeah, see, if I if we if we play, you know, if if we just let time move forward, we might end up with a few more high quality crocs to uh release as well and they are they are high quality these are all this is a very solid batch of animals but uh but now i'm thinking a little too far ahead at least we can get a little involved with the animals we have in storage that feels great uh i guess you know a bit of a a silver lining that we were unable to trade everybody out uh but we'll deal with that after the time lapse i think folks because like i said i i uh, there's a lot to do I'm, I'm i'm rearing to go very excited for this beauty pass so folks it's time lapse time all right, folks, I am really quite pleased with how this time lapse goes because we actually managed to accomplish a fair bit. I actually managed to accomplish more than I'd anticipated going in, which is almost definitely a first. Almost definitely. Uh, but first order of business here is to actually take care of this entrance area. Uh, again, it's something that we've talked about several times. It's something that we've like sort of nudged and pushed along on several times as well but i thought you know finally let's go ahead sit down and get some of this work done over here uh covering the space up with rocks adding the vegetation as well uh and then leaving the vfx work for later you'll notice occasionally during this time lapse i do just unpause momentarily uh, just so i can see what the vfx are looking like but i don't like having too much time go by uh yeah there you, you can see it right there I don't like having too much time go by while I'm doing a time lapse. Uh, so what we'll probably do is come back at a uh, later time over here to cap off the VFX work, uh, probably during this string of beauty passes that I'm doing. And I just want to mention as well, I've noticed all of your feedback in the comments. Many of you have uh, sort of, I, I think, agreed uh, with what I was getting at that we should really get some of these beauty passes in before we add yet another new animal and you know leave even more things behind. So. Uh, I'm glad to see that because I'm I'm definitely along that same line of thinking, and I would say that, uh, like I was saying earlier, we actually make a lot of progress, so uh, that next animal seems a lot sooner than it maybe previously did, so very exciting times ahead. Uh, but yeah, we'll be coming back for more VFX, which you can see occasionally I, like, I can't help myself, I just want to test out a couple of VFX placements, but overall we'll be coming back afterwards. Uh, to do a proper, you know, sort of fine-tuned job of it. But uh, yeah, it's all coming together pretty nicely over here. Um, a lot of rock work over here and just like, you know, tweaking and adjusting just to try and uh, really like make them, make make, make it all look natural um, and, and not, you know, so overly calculated, I suppose, is, is the way to put it. Uh, pretty happy with how it comes together. And again, you know, using the green to break it up, I feel like I could maybe do a little bit more work with vegetation just to make the space feel a bit more alive. It is a very, very large sort of expanse of rock. Uh, so I'm just trying to figure out, like, you know, maybe we come back and there are some other elements to add as well to break things up. I'm pretty happy with how it looks, but I feel like I could do more. I just, during the 
recording of this time lapse, I wasn't 100% sure exactly what. And what I wanted to do today was I wanted to accomplish more. Uh, I wanted to accomplish at least a little bit of more rather than spend, you know, 20, 30, 40 minutes flipping through parts and trying to like come up with a fresh idea on the spot. I find a lot of the time I do that uh, to a uh, to a detriment. Like sometimes uh, I'll flip through ideas and I'll come to a conclusion quickly and I'll, you know, I'll move on with some, with an interesting new idea. But a lot of the time I get stuck in and and that prevents me from accomplishing a lot during the time lapses. In fact, you'll notice during the uh, the little sandbox mode, um, you know, experiment that we did with the new DLC, my time lapses uh, were a lot um, like they, they felt like they were a lot more complete and uh, I'm trying to figure out why that is in all honesty it's it's obviously there's a I think what happens with franchise mode is that there is this like sort of mental block for me uh, where um, I, I don't know where like I am maybe overly cautious I'm it doesn't feel that way that doesn't feel like the right mental approach I have because it isn't I don't I don't find myself being overly cautious in fact you look around you see some of the technical risks we take constantly and consistently I wouldn't say that's it but there's something there is something there I'm not exactly sure what uh, but I want to try and embrace that a bit more and I think a big part of it is uh, uh, sort of a bit more of a go with the flow kind of attitude which uh, uh, I, I would I would like to adopt here which is what I'm trying to do here where like you know I know something needs to be done uh, on that huge facade of rock. I don't know exactly what it is right now. Leave it be, move on to something else, we'll come back to it. I don't know, it's what I normally do anyway. I, you know what? I have no answers here, only questions. So if you have any theories, feel free to share them because I don't know. Uh, nonetheless, as you can see, we're making quite a bit of progress over here. Again, kind of in a bit of a rhythm, uh, have a bit of an understanding as to like what I want to execute and how I want to go about executing it. Um, you know what I think it is? I think it's that I, I came in with knowing what I wanted to do, but not exactly how I wanted it to be, you know? I didn't have like a grand final uh, like vision here. So I was just kind of like putting things down as it felt uh, right for peace as opposed to aiming for this grand final, I don't know, like, you know, output, I don't know. I'm just theorizing here, just thinking out loud mainly. But yeah, um. So, so uh, again, I think on both sides, we'll need to come back and uh, and work on the vegetation a little bit. Again, it's always kind of been one of my weaker points. I can obviously admit that, that it is one of my uh, uh, one of my uh, sort of aspects that I want to work on and I constantly want to improve. Uh, I can obviously put vines. That th crossed my mind. That thought did cr cross my mind that I could put down some vines. But again, I was like, well, do I want to do vines? Uh, is that right for this space? It probably is, but I didn't want to spend that time to like mull over it because I, there were some other boxes that I wanted to check and I didn't want to get dug in and, and stuck in. Uh, but yeah, you know, working on this little waterfall over here as well, you will be uh, maybe unhappy to know that I do not make the cover for the staff room today. Uh, I'm probably going to do that when we get to uh, the otter enclosure, which some of you, by the way, have suggested might actually not have enough room in a little uh, area that we outlined last session. We'll take a look at that. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that when the time comes. Uh, I mean, obviously that, that uh, sandbox mode series definitely opened my eyes with regards to how much room some of these guys actually need. But I feel like that space will be enough. But again, like I said, we'll find out together when the time comes. Here I am doing a little bit of cleanup. I did not want to get rid of the path during the time lapse because it is so densely packed right now and I did not know what that would do to the frame rate and to just guest happiness and stuff. Uh, we take care of it after the time lapse. It doesn't take us too too long, actually. I was expecting it to be a very difficult and arduous journey, but it is not, thankfully. Uh, and you can see over here again, just kind of like expanding the uh, the rock layout. I do swap over to the uh, savanna rock textures because we are or grassland or savanna. I forget exactly what. Uh, I feel like the game uses those terms interchangeably uh, to refer to its uh, pieces, like class uh, categorization. Uh, but I do swap over because it blends more nicely because that is actually the uh, the base um, like base uh, biome that we're in. So you can see it blends a lot more nicely. So we transition from the uh, I think tropical rocks to these uh, to these savanna or grassland rocks, and that creates a much smoother transition. And this creates an interesting, rather a more interesting shape here as well, uh, with a little bit of you know bumpiness, a bit of actual physical like uh, displacement, if you will. 
Uh, every so often you can see me also just kind of looking around. Like I said, I've got a lot of boxes to check. And so every so often I'm, I like, I pull away and I go, okay, is it time to move on? Am I, am I forgetting anything? Uh, is there anything else I feel like doing right now uh, before moving on to that next box, so to speak? Uh, this was one thing that I wanted to just see how it looked. Again, this will still need some more work. This was not a focus of this uh, uh, of this time lapse, but you can see how uh, how this space is starting to come together already. It's starting to formalize a bit more. Uh, <laughs> to think back on what was it like episode five or something that we first established that. Anyway, uh, coming down over here now for the next set of boxes. I keep talking about boxes. Lots of boxes this uh, this time lapse. Um, names. I have not been putting down enclosure names for a very long time, and I have a huge backlog of them. I have them picked out, and uh, you know what? I feel kind of bad about not putting the names down because there were some excellent suggestions, and uh, I like the suggestions. I love engaging with the suggestions. I love seeing your minds at work. I love seeing uh, the various ideas, whether they're alliterations or puns or, you know, informative or what have you. Uh, so keep them coming. We do have... Uh, one area remains unnamed at the end of this, even though I have a name picked out. Uh, rather, sorry, no, two areas remain unnamed at the end of this time lapse, even though I have names picked out. But that is because I don't have the overall aesthetic of those spaces finalized yet. Uh, but with that said, this first name that we're putting down today in, in, in this uh, series of, of names is Gorilla Grove. A nice callback to Elitsu North as well. Gotta love good alliteration from time to time. And this area will have uh, quite a few alliterations, actually. Uh, got the nice little gorilla, you know, uh, cutout as well that we're able to integrate over here. So I'm trying to, like, just kind of play with that, make make this space a bit more interesting. And uh, we actually, there are actually new um, typefaces available as well, which I'm ever so grateful for because I, I think I've mentioned it countless times. Like I'd love to have a bit more variety and now we do have some more variety. This is still using the old typeface. Uh, I forget the name of it now because it is not a familiar one, uh, but we will be using one of the, the other typefaces. I believe it's called Noto or Noto, N-O-T-O. Not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but we do end up using that one uh, later on for, one, for, for a space that requires uh, something a bit more uh, modern or uh, a, a corporate is is the word that comes to mind immediately. Um, now you can see me actually using that typeface here and I change it out afterwards. Initially I was I was using it here for a bit of a visual gag I suppose uh, but but it doesn't really quite work with the name and the two typefaces next to each other they do not marry nicely at all uh, and it bothers me. Uh, I can't I can't I can't let it be. Uh, they don't work like this. There are other ways in which they will work, and I'm sure we will experiment with those ways. And I'm, ex I'm actually very excited to do so. Typography and typesetting and stuff is is, is fun for me. Uh, so I do have some plans, but but we'll do it. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, Seychelles Shore. Now the original suggestion was actually Seychelles Shores, uh, but without the S, I think it fits a little bit more nicely because of the uh, the, the character count. So uh, I hope you don't mind. And I know I mentioned this after the time lapse as well, but hey, it doesn't hurt to apologize twice, right? Um, but yeah, so, uh, Seychelles Shore. Now, the thing is, though, with the, the S-E-Y like that, see, the, 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 the play here was that you've got Say, and you expect Seychelles, like, you know, like the Seychelles, but it's, it's obviously a pun, so, you know, using different lettering styles to make the word shell stand out, but it didn't really work. Uh, however, you can use those two typefaces together to create some very nice, uh, lockups, and I will definitely be doing that because I love that kind of stuff, like I was saying, so you can expect that in the near future. Um, you can also see, by the way, I'm doing a little bit of lighting here and there because I figure I have a bit of an understanding and a bit of an idea of how those lights will work and night will surely fall after the time lapse. So I will be able to make some adjustments uh, and I'll, I'd be, you know, sort of, it'd be like in my head that, oh, right, I got to make some adjustments there. So I'd remember to come back and do it. And that's exactly how it works out. Now over here. Uh, I keep wanting to refer to this place by the name that I've picked out for it for a very long time, but I keep wanting to like, you know, keep it until I actually put the name down. Finally going to do it. But here, as it should still be called, uh, we are going to, you know what I just realized? I don't think I, I can't remember now if I officially put the name down, like make it a part of the, uh, enclosure or not. Oh, I can't remember for the life of me. I'll have to check next session. Um, because I have been officially applying the actual names, so like Gorilla Grove and Seychelles Shore, 
can't remember for the life of me about this one. Anyway, uh, the first order of business is to actually establish the rooftop covering for, you know, out in the outside area now has the uh, rooftop um, scavola bushes to, to, to sit on top of the lattice. And then on, on the inside here, we have the opposite situation where we already have the bushes and, and the vegetation up top, uh, but I needed to add the, uh, the, the lattice down below. So just building that it was a bit of a struggle selecting all the right pieces at all the right times. But we got the job done ultimately. Fits in quite nicely. And even though we'll never see it from up on high, we will see it when we're down low and we know it exists. Uh, so, you know, you might think it was pointless, but it makes makes me happy to know it was done. <laughs> anyway, moving on. We are finally naming this space as well. And this is us using that new typeface. Again, like the, the best way to describe it is, yeah, it's a very, it's very like corporate. It certainly feels very um, formal, I suppose. Uh, but the space is called Prosimian Plaza. I like this lettering for it. I like the sense of modernity it brings with it. Uh, and I actually, the lighting that we're going to do is 100% inspired uh, by my playing uh, Cyberpunk 2077 these days. Um, it is very much a corporate... Uh, it, it feels very much like a, a, the lobby of a... I don't know, law office or 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 a, or, a, or, a, or a tech firm or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but I've got that kind of aesthetic in my mind. This space has always been this idea of blending, again, using air quotes here, traditional and modern uh, materials and aesthetics. So this felt like a pretty cool and interesting way to integrate that thought right into the name of the space uh, and to how it's executed. But with Prosimian Plaza named and lit up, folks, that is it for the time lapse today. We're going to go back to regular speed and show all of this in action during the day and the night. Back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse. And I got to say, we accomplished quite a bit. I'm pretty pleased with that time lapse. We uh, we, we got this uh, croc croc area uh, closer to done. I, I'm, I'm always, you know, I always fall just shy of calling anything done. But, uh, sorry, the, I was zooming in like this because I couldn't help but notice how the O around rock, like you can see, uh, like I, th so like this is level of detail stuff going on and I noticed a couple of funky things that I'd never noticed before. I don't know if it's new or what, but, uh, basically what video games do is the further away you get from something, the lower resolution it is. And that way it's able to, you know, have more things going on at screen at the same time. And typically, I mean, things that are further away, you don't need to have as much detail on them. So, you know, it's probably got lower as textures farther away, lower as models and stuff like that. Uh, usually like the, uh, the pop in and the, and the swapping is uh, pretty like fluid and whatnot. And I've, I've rarely noticed it. Uh, but with the latest update, I find I notice it a lot more often. Like you can see the, oh, kind of get those hard edges as we zoom away. And like the the uh, the counter in there, the little hole in there, if you will, gets uh, smaller but as we zoom in. It smooths out, and that was just distracting me as I was zooming in there. So I apologize. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that's where I, you can see it with like the um, the vegetation as well a bit more. Uh, you can see how that's kind of like a flat green structure, and then as you zoom in, it actually gets some dimensionality. And I actually noticed that it was really trippy uh, down over here. I noticed that as I zoomed in, I think yeah, you can, you can kind of see like. Hold on, where'd it go? I just, ha I just saw it again as well. Oh yeah, you can see that, like, kind of like... See how the layer behind is growing? Yeah, you see that? Oh, that's so trippy. That's so trippy. That's so wild. That's so weird to look at. But, um, anyway, I noticed that while I was recording the time-lapse, and I was like, oh, okay, interesting. And then I noticed the O just after the time-lapse there. But, anyway, enough, uh... <laughs> enough trippiness. Uh, we accomplished a lot. I'm, I'm really quite pleased. Uh, we, we got a lot of work done uh, at this sort of entrance area, if you will. Again, shying away from calling it done because there are still little bits of things that I want to do. I want to check in on the VFX and whatnot, especially make sure they're looking pretty good. But overall, in terms of getting all the rocks in place and just getting some, you know, breaks in the texture and, and, and color and whatnot, that feels pretty good. Also got some work done over here, switched to the appropriate rock type. So things would kind of like start blending in. I do like the blending, like when it's done right, and that, that's entirely on me, obviously. Uh, when it's done right, though, it can look absolutely stellar. Uh, so I will probably spend some more time on this at some point. I didn't want to spend uh, too much time on, you know, on something that's pretty much already done. Uh, but I wanted to see if I couldn't get... Uh, Get this transition looking a bit smoother and and i think uh, i think we've done well enough and i don't know why i'm 
bothering myself with it right now, but I can't help myself sometimes, and I apologize, but uh, there you go. Um, yeah, so you're pretty pleased with all this stuff overall, and of course, as you, uh, I'm sure, had the time to, uh, to notice, it didn't go all that quickly, uh, we've also gone ahead and put down the names for uh, Gorilla Grove. We've got Seychelles Shore. Now, the suggestion was actually Seychelles Shores, plural, uh, but I felt like this lined up nicely, and so I kind of wanted to keep it uh, like this. I hope you don't mind. Uh, just a little bit of tweaking to uh, the suggestions here and there when some things sometimes visually uh, might line up a bit more nicely. Uh, obviously unpredictable because even I don't know what I'm going to do until I start to do it sometimes. Uh, but that's Seychelles Shore, and I just actually want to check Gorilla Grove. The name is, yes, official. Seychelles Shore, the name is official. Seychelles Shore, that's say saying Seychelles Shore. Sh wow. Saying Seychelles Shore seven times quickly would prove challenging, is what I was trying to say. The fact that I failed at that really says something. Saying the word says there felt weird. Anyway, the last one we also have is Prosimian Plaza over here. Trying to, again, play up that high-end vibe. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I've been playing a lot of Cyberpunk lately. Cyberpunk 2077. And uh, it's like aesthetic is... I, I love the Cyberpunk aesthetic. Uh, you know, well before Cyberpunk 2077. I've always loved the aesthetic. I love the, uh, the corporate uh, style. Uh, I love, as far as like graphic design is concerned, I I, I subscribe to the uh, Swiss uh, school of design and whatnot. So I thought I'd play around with that because we were trying to create this very like kind of formal space over here, this very like villa, high end kind of a vibe. Uh, you know, using as I as I said a couple of times before, using uh, a blend of quote unquote traditional as well as quote unquote modern materials. So I thought I'd bring that in with the uh, name as well. And I'm really excited to see how this looks actually when it's lit up at night. So looking at it now, I do realize I have got some alignment issues, which I don't know if I'm going to fuss with right now more than just a little bit. But you can see over here, like this isn't not perfect. Not, not even close to perfect. A little bit there. Go ahead and nudge you over a touch. Good stuff. Might need to actually push you in a little bit. Didn't notice that during the time lapse, and I kind of wish I did. Well, the other option is, of course, to maybe actually push this thing in. Uh, like so, but if I do that, then I have to adjust everything over here, nudge you in a little bit as well, uh, nudge you in a little bit as well. Again, I wish I could adjust like the tracking and the kerning more, uh, more like this was actual typesetting, but I'm just going to have to eyeball it instead. And I think that kind of works, but of course, Prosimian needs to be brought in a little bit tighter then. Um, there we go, nudge you in a bit and bring you in a bit as well. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Overall, our spacing is looking all right, but this we could probably nudge out a little bit. Um, but yeah, I was totally. Uh, I've got I've got Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven on my mind, the uh, aesthetic of it especially. Uh, I've got uh, I've got that corporate look and stuff on my mind, and I thought this was actually a nice opportunity to try and experiment with some of that. In fact, while I was doing this, I was like, "Oh, it'd be pretty cool to try and build a, a cyberpunk zoo." Um, but then I'd I'd have to make a dystopian zoo, and I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, but anyway, so this is my little kind of nod or homage to that, if you will. Uh, quite pleased with how it looks during the day. Let's see how it looks at night. But uh, yeah, pretty pleased with that. Very different from anything we've ever done as far as naming is concerned, especially. Or even as far as aesthetic is concerned in general, I would say. Uh, so that's always fun to, to try and like play around with. And uh, it's, you know, obviously only bec only become recently possible because of this new uh, typeface that uh, they brought in. They brought in the, well, they've had this typeface uh, for the editable signs and stuff, it's Noto, Noto or Noto, not 100% sure. Um, but now they've actually got it in like this 3D form as well, so you can you can you know, play around with it at this scale rather than just small editable signs. And I love that they did that. It makes me so happy. <laughs> it makes me so happy that that's an option. I hope they do it for more uh, more typefaces as well. But anyway, so that's that. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. There. I'm sure I mentioned a lot of that stuff during the uh, the time lapse. But again, it's sometimes while recording. I'm recording in a row and then do the time-lapse audio afterwards, so it always gets a little funky uh, for me sometimes because I get so excited to talk about what we did. Anyway, um, the other thing I'm excited for is to finally hit play. We're going to be doing a couple of things uh, while things are in motion. Uh, well, one is fixing up this area over here. As many of you have rightfully identified uh, our, our like bin tricks and stuff, they were not working. So I'm going to go ahead and wait until these guests are kind of in and past this area over here, and we're going to rework the path. While that's happening as well, though, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the community challenge again. It is about 
releasing. Oh, we'll deal with the litter afterwards. Uh, get away from me. Okay. Uh, help bring more smiles and joy. But releasing silver rated semi. -equ okay, hold on a second. Now, is it just silver rated or is it silver rated and above? It had better be silver rated and above. We're about to find out. So let's go ahead over to animal trading, over to animal storage, and let's start by trading out Wenning over here. Yeah, sorry, not trade, but releasing to the wild. Yeah, release to the wild. I cannot undo. That's perfectly fine by me. Double checking because I'm a little nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. We should be fine, right? We're going to have more babies. But yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Trade it out. Let's check our contribution. Yes, okay. Gold counts as well. As I would expect, I'm really curious how much we can actually contribute with what we have. Probably not enough to get any rewards. But with that said, if you all are uh, looking for something to challenge yourself with, it'd be super cool to... Uh, Get everybody in on this action. Unfortunately, my Gariel at Elitsu North are all still super young, tiny little babies, so not much I can do about that. Uh, but over here, we do have a couple of Gariel that we can release to the wild. Viraj, the father to many. The father to, in fact, I think all of our Gariel back at uh, back at Elitsu North. Um, wild to just so quickly trade him out like that. Oof. I feel like we didn't give him enough time there, you know? Uh, we also have who? Now, we were planning on keeping these guys uh, in case we introduced Gariel to Elitsu South. Um, but that's something, if, if need be, we can go back to Elitsu North to, to scoop some more up. That is obviously an option. Um, but let's go ahead and... Oh my god, these stats though. These stats are amazing, aren't they? These stats are amazing. But no, releasing to the wild is not a bad idea. Good. It's uh, it's in line and in keeping with our um, with uh, with what these zoos are supposed to be about. Let's go ahead and release Pihu as well. These are really good genes, though. These are really good genes. Now they've been sitting in, the, in in storage for so long, so it's only fair that we finally actually release them. Uh, oh, would you look at that? We actually I didn't think we we're gonna okay make that much of a difference. That's cool. Four animals released. We have some rewards we can claim. What is it? Shorts. Okay, I was like, is that like? It looked like, um, it looked like a like a like a like a gateway, you know? I was like, what is that? Shorts. All right, fair enough. Now, semi-aquatic. I do these. Do the Galapagos tortoises? Oh no, these guys are starting to mature. Oh, that's gonna be a flood of new animals. The question is though, do they count as semi-aquatic? They go in the water. <laughs> is like about as descriptive as I can get. I mean, they don't, I guess they don't deep dive. I'm guessing that's the uh, the differentiator. Let's take a look at Zupedia here really quickly. If we take a look at the saltwater croc though, you'll see that it also doesn't have any deep water requirements, but it's got aquatic in the name. Okay, well then let's see. Can I, I wish I could filter by aquatic or something because I imagine the Gariel is also listed as aquatic. Uh, so you know what, let's just check. Might as well check the Galapagos. Nope. Uh, what about the Aldabra? I assume not either. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, who else do we think could be an appropriate semi-aquatic option? That we that we have already, obviously, is a key part of that statement. Um, like, there's no point looking at the hippos. I was like, oh, what about hippos? Right, of course, they're an option. However, we don't have hippos yet. Um, why am I checking Indian elephants and peafowl? We know the answer to that question. Yeah, I don't think, uh, don't think I have, oh, polar bears. I only have the two. I don't have any other polar bears. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Not the end of the world, though. Again, if we're fortunate, we'll have more, uh, of these saltwater croc babies mature soon, and then we'll be okay. What's going on over here? You're hungry? Oh, that's unfortunate. Why are these guys not getting fed properly? Do I need even more keepers? You know, something I should probably do is take a look at my staff over here and level up a bunch of the uh, one star. Yeah, there's there's quite a few. And can I hang on a second? Can I? I can't select all, can I? Oh, actually, no. I was hoping that would be a select all uh, mark. All right, fair enough. Not the end of the world. Can I shift click? I cannot shift click. Fair enough. I go one by one then. One by one by one. 
by one by one by one by one by oh my god because of all those vendors that we got as well there are our keepers as well excellent some vets stuff good stuff should be able to just do one click and assign the upgrades I really hope that these upgrades uh, help because it's been a while now that we've been seeing yeah there we go beautiful it's been a while that we've been seeing like feeding issues and things like that I'm, I'm not liking that it's been in box for too long why is that happening over here unbox all animals hang on a second didn't I send a bunch of these guys over to uh, the trade center it have sworn at least a couple of you were going to the trade center. Almost certainly. Otherwise, we're gonna have overcrowding over here. But not Tui and Chipawa. Oh my. Okay. I thought I thought you were climbing the. One of these. That's freaking me out over here. Wild tippy taps. I thought he was climbing, buddy. I uh, find you overcrowding, but we've taken care of that now, right? Oh no, we haven't. Because you. Oh no. Hang in there, buddy. Go to the trade center as well. All right, cool. That should be okay. You are done with quarantine. Let's go ahead and move you into... Where are we here? Let's see you, Wasi. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Low welfare. I'm guessing it's all because of... See, what many of you have been suggesting is that they've been eating trash. They've been eating litter and whatnot. However, I don't think that's the case because last meal quality is still high while nourishment is low. Oh, look at you climbing the... That's pretty cute. I'll keep her over here. Let's make sure these guys are taken care of. I'm a little worried about the uh, situation over here. Just ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. And what's the problem over here? Spending a lot of time walking. This is new. I'm going to probably establish more staff rooms and stuff. Many of you have been suggesting that. Uh, that I should establish more staff rooms. It's definitely not a bad idea. I will be looking into that. Uh, hopefully today. Alright, there we go. These guys have eaten. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of a keeper not arriving in time. I don't think it's a matter of eating trash or anything like that. I think there it's just the keepers aren't arriving in time. Now, I do want to get some more educators up over here in the Australia section. Uh, I should be able to afford it. Where are we? Educator, one, two, three. Before you get away from me. Come on now. Oh, hey, what do you know? You can actually click up here. Uh, Australia. Get, oh. Come on. Go Australia and you as well. Because we have a lot of talks going on in Australia. I'll probably need to fix that. Uh, back to back to back talks aren't a good idea. And some of you were actually warning me that um, talks act a little bit like beacons. Where people will just, like guests will just move towards the talks. Uh, hold on one second. May... June, July, August, September for you, and October, November for you. Keep a month gap so they're actually able to, the, the educators are able to walk around. Um, but yeah, so you've been suggesting that like guests just home in on the uh, talks, which is obviously a problem. Uh, so that's something I want to, uh, to look at. I want to see how that behavior affects things and I want to make sure we're able to adjust for that. Um, this is, this is, I mean, becoming quite an issue. Hopefully we, uh, you know, I might need to prioritize placing down, uh, paths for, uh, for, st or not paths, but, um, uh, rest areas and stuff for staff. Uh, one thing I do want to do, oh, well, actually, we've already got this over here, but what I should do is I should swap these out for staff paths. As y'all have rightfully pointed out, make sure no one's walking in here. There we go. Not that they have any reason to, but who knows, right? Guests have a mind of their own. They do what they want. And as the sun is setting, I do want to come down over here to Prasimian Plaza and take a look at... Oh, yes. I love that. I like this a lot. Oh, this is exactly actually what I was hoping for. This is exactly what I was hoping for. A little bit of tweaking needed up over here. Not a problem. Not a problem. Let's go ahead and... Um, Add you in ever so slightly. There we go. This is this is exactly like this is exactly what I had visualized. 
So that that feels great. You know what I could do? Oh, well now I'm now I'm, not now I'm now I'm, okay, hold on a second. What I could do here is um I could get let's see. Back in over here. Wonder yeah, okay, we can do this kind of a thing. Could set this to black as well. Black on black is an interesting look, but I don't think that's very legible. Go ahead and make this a little bit more of a gray, I think. Hmm. Getting kind of bluish hints to it. I don't know why. Oh, because it's selected, of course. Right, right, right. Uh, let's drop you right down to that. How about that? Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a bluish tint to it. Don't like it. Don't like it. I was wondering, like, we can back it with something else instead. Um, I'm also very, no, not gonna, not gonna actually go overboard with the cyberpunk-ish theme. I, I like that a lot. I'm really pleased with that. Uh, let's look at some of the other ones as well, though, because I have got some lighting over here, too. But as I suspected, it would not be as kind of, like, directional. So, I can put you next. Actually, I kind of, I don't mind it pointing straight up. This one has to get some more work done over here. What I need to do, I think, is... Well, that's nice. But I do think I need to do this kind of a thing. Yeah, light up the actual sign, right? So... Along this way. There we go. And you know what? Let's actually move the height on this one as well. It's gotta be a little bit lower, so the, the lighting is a bit more diffused, basically, so it's a bit softer. But that said, it is still closer, so it's gonna be a little bit harsher. What I could do is I could darken the light a little bit. Not as harsh. Fortunately, the sun is rising. It will be too late to check out. Oh no, we're okay. This is kind of working. I, I definitely, I'm, I'm okay with this. I uh, might need to reduce the brightness of these lights though. They are a little bit on the bright side. Just a touch. Group these guys together. One here, color, and darken it. There we go. Much better. Much better. Cool. No, no. Not JJ Abrams over here. I don't need that kind of lens flare. Good. All right, cool. Yeah, but really, oh, this is this is dope. Oh, this is great. This is <laughs> Maybe I'm a little too pleased about this, but this is this is really cool. I wonder if no. I can say if I want to be like really kind of, you know, fancy corporate office look, you you have the little waterfall behind it kind of a thing, you know, the um this thing. No, not you. Oh, come on. You know what I'm looking for. Oh, right. I got to research them. Oh, I keep forgetting this is this is franchise mode. I got to actually get some research done. Fortunately, we do have the uh, mechanics uh, to get the work done. So let's go ahead and get uh, Brittany. You'll work on the aquatic theme. Only need a couple of steps so we can unlock all of the, uh, the building parts. Glad I realized before we actually started building, um, you know, all the... All the enclosures and whatnot. By the way, I've seen many of you mention that you think that the uh, penguins should, no matter where they end up, whether it's out over here or over here, uh, the penguins should be put in a closed space because this temperature is way too hot for them to like be in. Totally agreed. I like that idea. It'll again challenge me to do something I haven't really done much of before. So uh, yeah, we'll be doing that. We'll be creating a closed space for the uh, the penguins. Um, you know, I think this is about as uh, empty as this space is going to get. I'm really quite worried about doing this, I'm going to be honest, because getting the path to look right is going to, like, probably not be easy. Probably. The pathing can get really, unfortunately, uh, frustrating at times here. Uh, I'm just wondering if there's any other way to solve it. I mean, the other thing I can do has been suggested is, like, just raising the monument up. But I kind of wanted it to be visible at eye level. We uh, Nekedra's was above eye level. Um, and I liked that for what it was, but over here I wanted to do something that was at eye level. Uh, but okay, let's, let's go ahead and... Yeah, get rid of you. Oh my god, that destroys this entire section, eh? Yikes. Yikes, okay. Oh man, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know if I'm ready to redo all this. <laughs> I don't know if I'm at that headspace. Alright, let's see. With 10. You'd still go out this way. And then what? 
trying to figure out the best way to go about establishing Where is my, there we go, point here. Come on now. Oh, there we are. Okay, cool. Get you out there, right? Probably keep going straight out for a little bit. Here is where we'll have to rotate and connect. All right, not bad, not bad. This lag, though, this occasional lag is uh, worrying, at the least. We'd reduce the width over here. I don't know how much of a difference that would make. Reducing the width might help it uh, line up more nicely. Let's see. Pop you down like this. Pop you down like that. Okay. I don't know how that's gonna fly actually. No, I don't want that. Get rid of this. Guess guess it's just not wanting to wait. Not looking very good. Hmm. Hmm. this. I oh, that's looking any better. Not kind of? For you, let's see. Hmm. I do wonder if I should uh, undo this mess. It's gonna, it's gonna be the solution ultimately, I think. There's a bit of overlap, at least guests won't, like, go through the entire monument, you know? If I up your size to 10, line you up over here. Okay, easy connection. Line you up over here. Come on, there we go, beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to say it until it's done. I'm not going to say it until it's done. Uh, over here, come on. It's like, it's weird how it registers what I'm hovering over. Come on, there we go. Oh, there we go. Come on. Y yes, there we go. That's all I wanted. Hey, what do you know? You know what? That was easier than I'd anticipated. That's what I was holding off from saying. That was a lot easier than I'd anticipated. Cool, and things are pretty well lined up. I mean, some things are still a little funky. Uh, that's not a problem. We can fix that. Why? Were these guys floating all along? I don't think so. That doesn't make sense. But let's go ahead and nudge you over. There we go. Yeah, again, there'll be like a little bit of overlapping. We can actually, I mean, again, I feel a lot better about this. Uh, what we can do is we can... Shr shrinking the memorial will take too much time. I don't think that's worth it. But what we can do is we can reduce the size of the uh, the path that goes around and uh, and reduce the overlap. We can do that if we need to, which we, we might need to. So there's just a little bit of overlap. It's like, I, I wish y'all could understand you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> why, why, why can't you understand? Uh, all right. Get rid of all these. I, I think the lag, by the way, is just because the game is like recalculating a massive restructure in pathing and like where it can and can't go. So, that's fair. Alright. Half. Uh, width. Well, like, five meters, maybe? Maybe five meters will do the trick. Find out. I think it also needs to be a little bit further out, is the other thing. Raise you up. Please start intersecting with the light. There we go. There. Okay. See if this works any better. Like... The curves... I, I wish I could shorten this length even further, you know? 
Because that's why people are walking in, because I'm trying to maintain this, like, curve. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. One day it'll all make sense. One day it'll all make sense. Okay. Pull this up. Touching that, yes. Pull this out a bit more. Make sure it's lined up as best as possible. There we go. Uh, do I want to turn the path supports off? I think so. I've been doing custom supports, really. I can get up to here. Oh, this looks like it'll be better. I don't know if it'll be perfect, but it might be better. I kind of lose that bump up over here that I liked. Let's see. Oh, that's messy. That's ugly. This. Oh, that's better. Still not, like, perfect, but... Closer, I think. We still have some issues up there. This kind of a thing, maybe? I just don't understand why they, why they want to walk right by the edge, you know? It's like, just... Why? Why you gotta do that? No, this is, this is ugly. This is ugly. That's just... That's like a... That's a... No, that's terrible. You know what? I, I think... I think I quite like... This. I think I'll either need to accept a little bit of clipping, or we go around and shrink the memorial. I mean, y'all let me know what you think. Y'all let me know what you think, but I, I feel like the pain of... Uh, I, I, I think the other option is, is just uglier, unless I spend countless hours going back and forth with the other uh, pathing. Uh, which, honestly, I just I don't, I don't know if I have the, uh, the the willpower or the wherewithal to do that. I find it funny, by the way, as well. I saw, I've seen many comments, uh, especially with the, uh, the fall sale. Uh, I saw many comments come through that, like, uh, were people being like, Hey, yeah, you know, I've finally had a chance to play the game, and uh, I see now why you were complaining about the path system. Uh, you know, in like the early episodes for season one, or like why you why you struggle with the paths and whatnot. Yeah, like the the path system in this game is not the best. <laughs> uh, it, it it's great at doing what it needs to do, uh, but it's difficult to get it to do what you want it to do. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, it is a relatively constant source of frustration, and uh, that's why this path adjustment was the last resort. Uh, for my adjustments over here. Now, granted, that was a lot easier than I'd expected, but that uh, gives you an indication of, um, you know, what uh, what makes me nervous, I guess. Move these guys out there. Okay, hopefully that'll be the end of that conversation. Oh, we're good. Are we happy? Everything's okay? These guys are good. These guys are happy. Don't worry. They're fine. Protesters can leave. Fighting for alpha status. They're all babies in here. What are you fighting for alpha status for? What do you have? We have more adults here? Oh, we do. I guess we had a new batch of adults. Fair enough. Bhakti, Gritno, and Gesang. You. I mean, are you all old rated? Let's find out. You're, you're not an adult. You're not an adult. Least to the wild. Tiny adult, but gold rated. Good stats. Release. Right. Where is our other Yesang over here? So cool seeing them underwater. Come on. Also gold rated, also good stats. Release you to the wild as well. Done. And Bhakti is our other new one. Also gold rated, also great stats. Also release to the wild. Solve that problem and at the same time make some progress with this community uh, effort as well. Oh man, we're actually we're actually doing pretty good. It'd be really cool to see us accomplish this. I mean, it's tough. Four days left. We're about forty-four percent complete. It's not bad. Four days to get another, you know, fifty-six percent. That's that's doable. I think that's doable. It'd be really exciting to to see some rewards come out of that. I'd be very happy to see that. Are you serious, man? Like these. There's a bin right here. I, like, honestly, this this drives me absolutely up a wall. Um, I'm, I, I, I can be pretty patient. 
but my patient has worn completely thin with regards to litter. Um, and, and this just like, I have, I have no patience anymore for it. So it's like, I no longer have the time to be like, oh, it's okay. I just immediately just <laughs> get upset. There's like bins right here, man. Okay, now there was a suggestion that it's possible that the littering is happening in a security blind spot, but that is very clearly not the case. We've got a camera right here. Imagine having the gall to do that. Imagine just being like, oh, you're watching me? Chuck trash on the ground. Like, this is disgusting. How can you, how can you be like this? I don't understand that people are like this. I legitimately, I, I don't, I don't understand. There's no excuse. There's zero excuse. There's zero excuse. Unacceptable behavior bunch of litter down over here as well. Like, what is this? What am I supposed to do? People are also just unhappy for a variety of reasons now, and I'm very curious as to what's causing that. Look at the number. How do we, what is, what's going on? Why do we have so many people in, like, crowds? Oh, you know what? That's what it is. <laughs> it's funny, too, because I think back at the comment, and the comment, I think, was literally, uh, I wonder how long it'll take I'm paraphrasing a bit because I can't remember it sp exactly, but I think it was, uh, I wonder how long it'll take Party to realize that, uh, the, uh, animal talks are broken and, uh, guests just get pulled to them. Um, that's what we're seeing here, I think. That's why we're seeing these guys, these massive herds of people go from point to point. There's litter all over the place, yeah. Yeah, who do you think's responsible for that? Honestly, the, the, the litter is is gonna drive me wild. Um, but if that's the case, because that, that's why a lot of these people are, are thirsty and stuff as well, right? Because as you've pointed out, they uh, they ignore all of their needs and wants. They just go towards the talks, which is obviously a problem. Just litter on the path, buddy. <laughs> I get one more mention of litter. This is close. Honestly, I can just get rid of the outer ring. Close. Setting all that aside, uh, I do want to take a look at what else did I want? Oh, there was so much. There was so much that needed doing, and uh, now the litter has, has thrown me off a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, uh, a litter bit. God, uh, I wasn't here, man. Oh right. Well, one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to check on our lions over here. It was mentioned, and I thought I sorted this last time, but we had a bit of inbreeding going on, and I thought I sorted this, getting the right lionesses on uh, contraceptives. I'm pretty sure I did Kibibi Abeo over here. Malawa, are you in here? You are a double star. You are the alpha, and I believe you're able to breed with everyone except for Kibibi and Abeo. Yeah, okay, so we're good. We're good. The question becomes, though, um, are we seeing babies? Are we seeing babies? Because if we take a look at these guys, they're too old. They're not infertile, though, I, I don't believe. Elderly, but they are still able to have offspring. That's good. Um, quite a few in storage. Now, are these all your kids? Let's see. Dada over here. What is your... Parentage. Malala. Okay, fine. So we're, we're gonna have to, you know, cycle. I wish I could set contraceptives like this, but... Gotta go here. Gotta go... Nope, gotta go here. Gotta go animals. Gotta go... species. West. African lion. Then here, gotta go... Female, and... Rather, we go by maturity instead. Put you on contraceptives. I imagine we have some pretty good stats over here. But we'll have to do the whole swapping around thing. Oh, it was also pointed out that uh, it seems that people aren't using the trains all that often. That is something we have to look at. And I think it might actually be, now that I think about it, it might actually be because of uh, these animal talks. People are no longer being driven to uh, get onto the trains because they are distracted by walking to the animal talks. I don't know. I'm, I don't want to uh, give the animal talks too much credit in terms of the trouble it might be causing us. Uh, but that is a major variable. That is a major change. There we go. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. I just want to catch what these guys look like at night. We didn't really get a proper nighttime look at them. Not you a bit. Up a bit there. 
That's better. That's better. I love how this looks. I love how this looks. Um, Gorilla Grove, your lighting is... Yeah, much better now. But did you see that jump up there? Oh, look at the little buddy down here. You intimidated by that massive sign? The huge gorilla on that sign there? Do you understand what it is? Do you recognize the shape? Gorillas are fascinating. Um, whoa, what is that jump? Uh, I saw a video the other day, I think yesterday even, of a baby gorilla terrified of the rain. I guess it must have been its first rain. And it's like look, seeking protection from its mother. Adorable. Moonlit gorillas. What a game. What a beautiful game. Oh, wow. Just wow. I can't... I don't even... Like, what do I... What do I focus on here? It's so beautiful. You can see the train off in the distance. The vendor stalls all lit up. We'll have to do a lighting pass. I'm hoping to do a lighting pass, I think, maybe next session. Either a lighting pass next session or a... Uh, or maybe we sit down at Darwin's Den again. Or perhaps, you know, the uh, Wallas could use some love as well. They haven't uh, they haven't had our attention in a while. But uh, but we definitely need to do a lighting pass very soon. Uh, because things are pretty dark still. Um, I remember when I was initially thinking that I'd be doing lighting as... Uh, as I went on building stuff. But that obviously didn't last. That's getting kind of frustrating. We're actually losing money. Uh, quite a bit of money, actually. Oh, refunds. Excuse me. But, like, the reason why we're losing money is because guests are unhappy, and when they're unhappy, they're not donating as much. So it's not that we're losing more money, it's that we're we're not making as much money as we were previously making, and uh, and we're still spending as much, obviously, on, on feeding and whatnot. And it's all because of litter and guests not able to take care of their needs. I could, if we feel... Okay, you know, here's a good a good way to test it. Is go to manage talks. We can go ahead and... Close all of these. We're going to close them all. We're going to see if that changes the behavior of the guests. We're going to see if that reduces litter. We're going to see if that gets these guests um, working on their needs. Rather than swarming all of these talks. That would be... That would be ideal. And then... And then we'll know. And then we'll have identified the problem. But look at how empty this area is. Pachamama's garden has nobody compared to how busy it used to be. Uh, instead, people are all the way over here. Going to where the uh, talks are. Like, it's pretty... I don't know. I feel like it's pretty damning evidence. If... If, uh, if I've ever seen any. Uh, but overall, pretty pleased with today's session, folks. I hope you are as well. That is where we're going to call it, though. A little bit of work done, good bit of progress with our uh, with our challenge over here. I would love to see us uh, actually succeed and acquire some of these animals. Hopefully they'll be relevant animals. Again, just as a reminder, we do actually have a couple of rewards that are relevant to Elite Zoo South. So, you know, maybe I should go to Elite Zoo North and drop off uh, Rishi and Rishi over here. But uh, it's good to see relevant animals. Hopefully we'll get some more if we actually accomplish the goal there. Uh, but I guess this is, yeah, where we're going to call it a session. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, we did accomplish quite a bit. A lot of work done on that uh, beauty pass. We managed to, uh, well, manage a fair bit as well. Really hoping we've solved this uh, problem with guest happiness and, 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 and crowds and whatnot. But uh, I guess uh, I guess we'll find out next time. Folks, I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. What I do more or less of and how I go about doing it. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.